is waiting so difficult for you. Why? Why don't you like wait to wait? You know, waiting is a virtue. Being patient is a virtue. You have to be patient in this life. You don't get things as soon as you want them. You have to be learn to be patient, okay? Now, what do you want? What are you asking? This is the book that you usually used to draw. But it's finished. There is no more pages. It's inside. Everything we need is inside here. But you don't have the... Where, where did the, that book that you used to draw is? It's there. These are the books that you usually play with. and Nani has not come back. I don't understand. She does not call, she does not communicate, no courtesy. I don't get it. Someone is is uh, is burning something outside.
Hello guys, welcome to my video. Today I have no strength, but I felt like I want to I want to keep the video uploads for every Sunday going. I don't want to just you know sometimes you just don't feel okay. I don't feel okay today. Like I feel drained, I feel tired. It's been a very, very hectic week. I think you can see it in my demeanor. But hopefully as this video goes by, it's getting so dark outside so fast. As this video goes by, perhaps things are going to be okay. My mood is going to be better, hopefully. So just stay in the background. I'm basically just um, hanging out with you guys, like the big brother. Okay, I or whatnot, I don't know. Like cooking. Yes, cooking. Okay, where is my... First of all, before I start cooking, I want to start preparing onions. Uh, look. Oh, nice. Five. Yes, five. You know, I was seeing this, this TikTok challenge. Where moms were like, uh, they had small children, <laughs> and sometimes they have these meltdowns. But even in the middle of meltdown, the kid will just uh, life as usual to the kid. Sometimes she's like in the closet having a meltdown, and the kid is coming to ask, "Mom, what time until 
until the food is ready. What time until lunch? <laughs> and then the mother answers and proceeds. And after the kid is gone, she proceeds having a meltdown. It was so funny. And one lady was saying that, that there was a time that her, her toddler came. She was having a meltdown and her toddler came and sort of just removed her, their underwear and pooped next to her. So she had to wipe her tears very quickly and start cleaning the poop. And that is the, exactly what now I've just remembered. That even if you are having bad days, like sort of you're having a, those days where you feel very exhausted and burnt down, the toddlers, they'll just be toddlers. Or young kids, they'll just be young kids. Before I turned off the camera, he called me like 10 times in, in one minute. I don't know. And I was telling her, him, you don't call people several times. How will you feel if I call you, kill you, kill you? Every minute of the of the of the time. How will you feel? Oh my goodness. No, it's fish. But you usually don't like fish. Yeah. Why? Because I like eggs. Cook, 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 cook. We are going to cook fish and rice. It's been quite a while since we ate fish and rice. Uh, fish. I can think that. Fish and that rice. That is the way I find my eyes. Hmm? The way I close my eyes. Guys, I'm trying to do intermittent fasting, but I, I, I will break on Sundays. I'll have a break on Sundays. On Sundays will be my cheat day. Because I feel like I've gained a lot of weight. And a lot of people keep commenting on it. To be fair, both of us have gained weight, me and the hubby. 
we both gained weight because even he's he's uh, he had to get some new clothes because of the weight gain thing. I don't know. Everyone has gained weight, including the the houseman in this house. I don't know what's happening. We eat. We'll be staying eating. What are you doing? Coloring. Coloring. Yeah. All right. Tomorrow is school. Yeah. I should cook quickly so that the food gets ready. In you. Cindy. Yeah. Guys, I don't know what I how I feel about men who who like uh, give give um give uh, females a role in in a in a marriage. I don't I don't know how I feel about it. You know the way they usually assign you to the kitchen, assign you to the chores, assign you to every Yani probably like obviously some some of the time some of them help but the people the ones who don't help at all the ones who have the mentality of a, a wife has to do this a wife has to do this a wife needs to cook for me a wife needs to do this I mean I don't I don't think I don't think I'm okay with that mm -hmm. I feel like anybody can cook like anybody can learn how to cook especially nowadays we have internet and we have social media even if a guy doesn't know how to cook they can always learn how to cook and surprise even their wives i mean if she cooks every night make a day to even surprise them you know surprise with a, a nice cooked meal you know and it's like just learn the recipe re recipe and some of these guys be like um expecting women to do mostly the cooking, the kitchen, like if they are hungry, they are like, I'm hungry, I want to eat. Yet you are not carrying, a, you are not carrying a pots and pans with you wherever you are. What am I, like, what am I trying to say? I'm just trying to say the gender roles thingy does not appeal to me at all. It does not appeal to me at all. I was seeing, I was seeing this TikTok challenge where these ladies had been proposed to. And now, all of a sudden, they just like had a very huge flashback, like a flash of their future, of how it's going to look. And it was, the, the flash, the, the video was just replicating and, and showing them 
wearing aprons in the kitchen, carrying one child here, another one is crying there, and and they are dirty. And and when they were getting these um these their rings, they were super glamorous. They were looking dope. And now all of a sudden they they they, they are it's they are getting this flashback. <laughs> getting these flashbacks of of the of uh, of doing these things oh, I'm sorry I'm sorry because I have to use it I'm sorry and then he says thank you thank you basically thank you for apologizing children, they're working, they're doing everything in the house, they're cleaning, and then they probably have nine to five jobs, and, you know, they have to do everything, and they were like, they came back, and, like, before, I mean, they were being proposed to, and then they didn't accept the ring, before accepting the ring, they saw this flashback coming all along into their, their heads, and they were like, no, thank you. No, thank you. Let's just stay the way we are right now. <laughs> and I was just thinking to myself, some, some, sometimes people think that that marriage is very luxurious. I think that you have to be very, very selfless to enter into it. And I think that this general thing, where somebody, like for example, a woman has to cook for me. I feel like a man has to have basic skills of knowing knowing how to cook basic meals, even an egg. That when they are hungry, they can just be entering the kitchen and whipping a meal for themselves. Oh, very nice. Not that now a man needs to be salty and upset if a woman has, they can come back home and a woman hasn't kept her workload. Honestly, if let's say for example, if, if you are home earlier than him, it's just fair. I mean, if both of you are working and you are home earlier than him, it's very much fair if you just cook a meal and you know and all that. But if let's say for example, 
both of you are home, for example, if both of you are like sort of having their day off and you're just relaxing at home, and typically it's always the woman who comes every single day. That day, a man needs to just take it out of their head and, and, and check out the recipes on YouTube and just whip something. And maybe just surprise or go, go to the grocery and then buy those things, come back and whip something special. I mean, I don't know if I'm asking too much. Some of us are asking for too much. I think like it's very much basic, uh, this basic clinic, basic uh, human uh, survival to learn how to cook. Nobody should, should be. I don't, I feel like, for example, if you had a wife, if somebody had a wife, what if this wife gets sick and now a meal needs to be cooked? So that house is not going to be eating. What if the wife, for example, was to uh, to go on a safari? I'm I'm to go to is it safari or safari? safari. It is safari. safari. No, safari. You want to know if it is safari or safari? Well, it is. is safari and, and I think safari. these are the things that you need to discuss earlier on in your in, in your dating. <laughs> You need to discuss so many things. Discuss and set boundaries. Set boundaries. Don't be surprised when now you come to you come to live together. Now you find that. That now this is the time that you are trying to solve some things that you never spoke about in your in your nini. If if if, if the guy, if the woman doesn't know how to cook, they need to learn. Likewise, likewise, if the, the man or the woman doesn't know how to cook, both of them need to learn so that they can know how to cook. Because at the end of the day, I just feel like when you are getting into a union. You're not get, getting into it to be anybody's maid. You're not. I mean, of course, you are going to have the act of service. But somebody cannot just fixate in their mind that it's expected of this one to always cook. It's, ex, it's, ex, it's expected of them. I mean, no. Especially if you meet women who are very much independent. And uh, they have their age going for them. Now, all of a sudden, now they come and uh, now people, I don't think it needs to, uh, people, everybody needs to know how to, to maneuver in this society. It's not always going to be peaches and, and cream. Yeah, that is turmeric. I want to put more turmeric. Turmeric is healthy. Turmeric is very much healthy. Yeah. 
Yeah, I know you don't like fish. I like the little fish. This kid was promised. Yeah, like. Was promised fish, to, like a may fish I like, may I like by my friend. May I like the fish, fish, fish. And now she keeps singing, singing about the fish. Hey. Yes. I like, I like the fish who have eyes. Okay. Yeah. I need that. Is that rice going to be enough? If auntie wants ugali, she can always cook an ugali for herself. She will cook ugali actually. The rice will be for tomorrow. If you don't want to eat lunch, I've cooked um, I've cooked rice because Julian doesn't like ugali. But I've noticed that his auntie Likes ugali. But that is what she's going to cook. Kilia. Yes. I need to put some. Can you? Oh. I can't ask you to, to get down and go get. Here. Get down. I need to send you for water. Go and get me water. So that I can. Yeah. Yeah, take this one. Yeah, yeah, I need water. Get me water. I want to put it in the freezer so I can I can drink cold water. You know that it's supposed to be raining here in Kenya, but it has refused to rain totally. All together. The entire of this year, I haven't seen rain in this country. We are almost, eh, we are almost ending. The year is almost ending and the rains are nowhere to be seen. The year is ending so fast.
Have you drunk water, Kilian? Unaweza pika ugali yako peke yako? Hii rice gani kaita tosha ni rice kidogo. Mmm, very yummy. Good evening, Ruby. Nice to see you. Jane Karaoke, nice to see you and nice to have you. Caroline Manjiko, hello. Nice to see you there. Lindy, nice to see you. Sending you love back. How are you doing today? I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. I feel like getting inside this freezer. <laughs> it's very cold. It's very hot. No, I'm getting cold water in the freezer. Sorry. It's too cold. It's too cold. Yeah. It's not for you. You know, we keep away pens for you because we keep throwing everything. Okay. 
You draw the wall, you draw your bed, you draw the bed sheets, you draw. Eh? Where I draw my bed Huh? He draws even his body. I've seen you drawing on, on the windows. You know, when you grow up, you'll have to build me a new house. You understand? You build me a new house. After you have destroyed my, my house. Now you get money and then you employ people to build it for me. You are a fundi? Mom. No, you're not. I'm growing up, I'm not a fundi. But what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be. Spider-Man! Eh, there's nothing like Spider-Man, like ah. being a Spider-Man. I want to be a Spider-Man. Spider-Man! Spider-Man! Even like... Super C! So when you grow up, you want to be a, to be a Spider-Man? Even stomach! Actually, you, actually, you do what? You have to make your money and move out. Not like the way I've seen. There's this lady. There's a lady that that I used to know that has um, a son who is really, 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 really disrespectful. You know, like he's almost 25. He does nothing. Like he's refused to go to school. He refused to better his life. He's just doing mannerless things. He's refused even to go to college. So he's just living in his mother's house and acting crazy. Acting crazy. These are the kind of, of children who think that their father's property is their property. They always think that their mother will probably die and they will inherit everything. Uh -huh. That is acting crazy. They have a, an opportunity to study and better themselves, but they just don't want. And that is not a, a, how I want you to turn out. You understand, Kilian? When you grow up, you have to, you have to start working hard now in school so that when you grow up, but they are not much. You become very independent. Why do you don't you want school? Because you, I don't no. like, because I don't like school anymore. Why? Why don't you like school anymore? You know that's bad. Because we are not afraid of teachers. What did teachers do? Beat. Beat who? Did you get beaten in school? Please. Teacher Masi. Teacher Masi beat you? Yeah. I will, I will call Teacher Masi and ask Teacher Masi, okay? Okay. I'll tell Teacher Masi, my son is saying that he's afraid of going back to school because the teacher is beating him. But then if you lie, if you say the truth, then Teacher Masi will tell me. But if you lie, you know what Teacher Masi will do? Punish you. Because you know lying is bad. Me to what? Of course, if you, if you don't want to be beaten, you don't lie. You say nothing but the truth. Right? Like right now, are you saying the truth? Yes. Are you saying the truth? Yeah. So teacher must beat beats people in your in your class. Yeah. With what? Mm. Okay, beat me, then. Eruna. Who is your class teacher? Because now you say Teacher Masi is the one who beats you. Teacher Masi. So how did Teacher Masi come from the other class to come and beat you? Because that thing is a stress man. Hmm? That thing is a stress man. 
A statement. Assessment. Assessment. Yes, exam. Were they was she supposed to beat you because of the exam and assessment? Yeah. Really? Yes. Yeah. Oh, Kilia, you lie a lot, Lavinia Mera. You lie. I'm not lying. Are you not lying? I have to make sure, like, that your fish doesn't have any bones. No. No, 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 never give him a fish with bone, please. Even if he tells you he likes it, I don't want, I don't want any emergencies in this house. No, you just, you just namtole a bones. Sympathy of fish with bones. You understand? Namtole a bones, kwanza ni unampe a fish. Mjoto asidilie wembe umpe. Asililie wembe umpe ata kidogo. Look at my rock. Look at my rock. Hold on, let me first do, do this fish. Fish, um, was... Your uncle doesn't like fish with bones. He only will ask for the one that doesn't have too many bones. Okay. Your food is ready. Kenya unafanya macha kwanza unini, upike ugali mkule na hiliya. Wait for your food to be ready and to finish your skin. Ha, ugali. Pirika iko uko ju. Is that your food? Hmm. Okay. It's very nice. Me, I want to. Because in the morning. Oh, Auntie, what are you doing? Mano chapati go up. Mama? Chapati, 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 chapati. You still have some chapos over here. Chapo, chapo. Chapo, Huh? He had a tail. He had put any connection in your pool. Pule he, Pule he, Nahi. No, Penda Pule he. He was here. He was here. He was here. He was here. He Yeah. 
Kidogo, kidogo, it is not be, gonna be hot. Like this. Mm. And those some fish is good. Some fish, some cabbage. No I know I've cooked for you too much food. See, his food is too much. He won't finish. Don't eat that much. A lot? Yeah. Okay, can you eat then? This one. Wait, I want to see you eating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. When I do that, my face is looking bad. I'm going to I'm going to block you. You womb water. I will block I will block you. I will I'm blocking all womb watchers. Yeah. 
Auchoti vizuri sana ni kuonyesha. Unachota aje. You scoop some some fish, a little bit of uh, of cabbage and rice. Too much. No, it's not. That is like this. It's fish. It's like this. No. It's fish on the here. It's fish on the floor. Mm. No, I want it to be warm. It's so it's off now, it's just keeping warm. It doesn't. You are the one who is making noise. You don't eat, but you are making noise. That is like. Hmm? What does that sound like? It's anti cooking. It's cooking how garlic. That is not anti. Yeah, outside. It's nothing. Exactly. Can you eat? Exactly. I want to see how my child, my baby knows how to eat. Exactly. Eat. Exactly. No, don't call upon snakes in this house, please. Come on, I'll take you something. Mm. Ah. I know we watch snakes on TV. This type of fish is, is a tilapia. What? Is it panda bone? Show me. Eh, Kilian. There's a bone. Big one. Thank goodness. There's no more bone. Mine is the one that has bone. And that one is over here. I will remove it. Layer up with yellow. That one. She's called Sisi Yemi. Sisi Yemi. Okay. But can you eat? Mm. Some have to be like this. Hmm? Some have to be like this. Pillion, I don't see your food moving. And I'm not going to feed you. I know that's what you want. You're already big enough. Okay, take that. And some ice cream. Some what? Let's play. Okay, eat. Sunday is my cute day. Look at my arms. I've grown so big, man. 
Everyone says. Who oh, no. I want to. To stop eating a lot. That's why I want to do intermittent fasting. Because I feel like intermittent fasting helps you sort of monitor your calorie intake. So in the morning, I'll be doing chia seeds, no, green tea, and then chia seeds with um, chia seeds with lemon in it. Then I wait 18 hours. Is it going to be possible? No, eight hours. Is it eight hours or 18 hours? And then I eat dinner, monitoring my portion. Usually in the evening, I get a snack. And my snack is usually roasted maize. No, no, I don't want to pause. Can you eat? Eat. I just said mm. like. Okay, then eat. The fish is really slapping. But Kilian's meal is not moving. It's moving, Kilian. Here, you can tell Finished. Not yet. Finished. We're only playing. We're not eating. And I don't like that. Scoop that food and put it in your mouth. What time is it? Now this is we pick and bob, we pick and yam. We put a busy like two million yakama food and million like two million. Would you to me a pressure cooker? Na pressure cooker. One hour and you quarry gas. You can for pressure cooker for thirty minutes, for twenty minutes. Would you put to me a pressure cooker? 
na nitakuwa na kuwekea kwa pressure kuka juu cooking meat for one hour that's a waste of gas na mbele baada ya cutting gum mmm ilikuwa ngumu lakini ilikuwa na chumbi hmm chumbi na na mafuta mafuta chungu nzima Yeah, because my message is coming. Message? Mm, on my phone. When my phone has a message, it shows the light. Okay. When I'm almost done with my meal. And you? That's why you're not growing. That's why you're turning five. And next year you're turning six. Hmm? Six on my class. Mm -mm. Um, Can you swallow the no. food? Can you swallow the food first? Mm -hmm. Five, six, seven, acknowledge. Now I'm done. Have some more. Who you nashina kuki mwambi akula kula. Let's do that. Do one and only at a meta. Let's do racing. Yes. Mm. One. Room. Seven, eight, nine. Let me see your mouth. Ah, you have not. Killian, we are not playing. I'm going to take that cane. Do you know the cane that I used, that I beat you up the other day with? I'll take that. <coughs> Pardon. No, the cane that that I usually beat you up with. No, that cane, the one. The that, mouse. No, the one that is nice. The yellow one. Yes. The green one. No. The purple one. No. The Stingos. one that is the one that is. Stingos. Yes. Did you do that, but manas again to auntie? No, I have made the friends again today. Hmm? You told me mm. I am not repeating your words now. Mm. Now, am I your friend? You said yes. Now, yeah. we are friends. Good and friend. the day you went to you went to school, did, did he run uh, run in the uh, the road? Did he run? Tomorrow. It was yesterday. Oh. You know when when Auntie takes you from school, you wait for Auntie. You give Auntie your hand. Auntie has to to do what to hold your hand. We walk together. There's no going ahead and running in the road. You understand? Otherwise, I come back. You know, the spanking that I give is the same spanking I will give again until you get straightened up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And just have to leave you a John Johnson to run. Mm -hmm. There's no running in the road. You get it? You understand? Yes. There's a lot of, of cars in the road. Meza yu chakula kwanza. Ebu tuwa mkono wako. Meza chakula. Meza chakula. Meza chakula. Meza chakula. At least you think you have. Alikula chakula. No, afternoon, afternoon. Mm -hmm. Chew your food with, with, with some manners. 
Ni kufunga shule plus kids wenye wako wako class yetu wako karibu kufanya exam. Let me see your mouth. Ah basi ngwacha nitume auntie nilete kiboko. Haya basi kula. Let me see. Have you to swallow? Why? Let me see your your Ah! What is there to be chewed for that ma- that many hours? Why are you chewing food for long? I don't I want you to swallow the food that is in your mouth. I want to close my mouth. See, my plate is empty. Slow one. Slow one. I see your plate is still full. Slow one. Don't throw the food on my mouth. Okay, but then swallow. Mm, okay. <laughs> but you don't chew loudly. Kwani siku hizi na chinua kula samaki? Last time I ate kula almost hiyo piece yote ile kula nzuri. I want tell you to, to 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 throw the food down. I want you to swallow that food. Mbona nashindwa kuswallow? Basi swallow. Okay, take some rice then. Is it because I'm here? Should I leave you with auntie? I go to my room. Okay, take. If you're refusing to eat, I'll go to my room. And if I go to my room, you I'll see you only tomorrow. I don't see you after. I see you tomorrow when you come back from school. Dorothy Bryant is asking me if I've been to Rwanda yet. No. I haven't been to Rwanda yet. Swallow the food, swallow the food, swallow the food, swallow the food, swallow the food. I really I really discipline. I yani I really um, uh, spank him. Because he's generally not a bad like not a a, a well a, a bad mannered kid. But every time he develops this bad manners, before he goes further, he gets disciplined. So that you know next time not to, to repeat. Kids in Africa, you don't just tell them, Musipanya Ivo Baba, don't do that, okay, Baba. No. <laughs> Even you, you know. So you know, Kilian, kids in Africa are mtachukua, meangufa by mistake, pole. Aya basi sisa umeze chakula. Usipo meza, kutambia anko, asikulete, anko will not bring you for you the lollipop. And he will not bring for you um, chips. And then the next time I'm not going to take you to see Ariana. And eat Silvana. chips. Hmm? Silvana. Silvana and Ariana. Those are your friends. I won't take you to see them. If you don't eat. No, I haven't forgotten about the birthday. You did say. No, the birthday. We will. Actually, in your school. He didn't say the birthday. No, the birthday is almost here. Today is 
and it's almost here next week next let me check is it next weekend i'm not next week birthday birthday ata you know the reason why i don't want to bring birthday here is because Usually the birthdays for me I feel like it's just better to to I don't want people to say why I wasn't invited why I wasn't invited mm -mm. I want to make it a simple one this time I'll just take you to a playground you play until you are tired then you eat because you can't swim I could have taken you swimming then I buy you that whatever you are asking for then we call it a day and then a cake sana sana cake kenya na ulevi asikeleke ah cake nayo lazima ipelekwe mimi huwa nampelekea shule cake huwa anapeleka shule pia kwa nyumba pia tutaleta jioni alafu tumeni tumwimbie nayo happy birthday Someone is turning what? Five. And six. Mm. No, that means that you in my sister to me. Hmm? To me. Allah, the book counter here? No. Count? <laughs> See? Hmm? Start? Yeah. Mm -hmm. ah, but then you're not eating, I'm not your friend. Mm. Yes, good job. And then after Ine, what do you have? No. After Ine, you have Tano. Tano. Then Sita. Sita. Another birthday is is going to be happening. When in was next? Saba. Saba. Nane. Nane. Tisa. Tisa. Kumi. Kumi. Mom, let's send this pizza. No, no. Can you swallow your food first? Then we continue. We continue. Yeah, and swallow, swallowing food is a problem for you, Cynthia. Mm -hmm. I give you fish. Ah, leave. Leave it. Ah. Mm -hmm. But you know, I, I, you know, I'm not going to be feeding you because I'm never here with you whenever you're eating. So you, you eat by yourself. Mm -hmm. So your birthday will be, we'll do it, okay, on next week Wednesday, mm -mm, not this week, next week Wednesday, I take the cake to your school and snacks, then in your school everyone will sing for you, mm. in your school everyone will sing for you, then that, after that, that weekend, we go somewhere nice, Cindy that weekend what is this what happened here in your finger um teacher mm. teacher is good for us and he gives us medicine they should not give you medicine without without your mother permission okay mm. say mother my mother said no medicine even this is wait for pain yeah, it's very bad. That is not good medicine. It's poison. Mm. Mm? Should and, not take it. And that is that is for No, it's not good. It's it, not good. It was it was nice. It was nice because they make it they put some sugar in it. Why are they going going immunizing kids who are already been immunized? 
These people are very much crazy. Hey, here, eat. I need to go. <laughs> Me, I'm done eating. See, I've finished. Where we? Fanya bitu zako. Mm. Where, Alex? It's been a while since I saw you on my live. Oh, you wish to have a son like Killian. Oh, Killian. Killian. Uncle. Uncle Alex is saying that he wishes to have a son like you. So what, what should you say about that? Thank you. But then you need to eat so that so that you he sees that you are a good boy. Yes, he has to see that you are a good boy. I, I don't show your food from your mouth, please. Mm? Everyone says that I look so much like him. <laughs> they say you look so much like that boy, yeah? Unbelievable. Mm. <laughs> People usually say that hey, 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 that boy is your copy 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 cat. Mm. Mm. Eat. Mm. Eat and then we go. Yeah. To prepare for your birthday. Mm. To talk with my mommy. Yes, we'll talk with your mommy about birthday later on. Your mommy is not online. Mm. On the phone? No, your mommy today is not online. Your mommy is working. Hmm? Your mommy is at work. Is this me? Yes. Even over there. Even yes. this is over there. Yes. You. And this is over there. Who is this? Who? Who is this? This. This that is Kilian, uh -huh. and this is Mom, uh -huh. and this is Uncle. Yes, Uncle. Uh. Yeah, it. Yeah, Kilian is a precious, a very nice kid. He's a joy to have. Uh, I don't know. Can you take some more food, please? Not, not You've not swallowed. Okay, now swallow then. Why does someone have to beg you to eat, little boy? Because I did that. Mm -hmm. Ah, now you're used to these people begging you to eat. Do you know if you don't eat, Baraka will keep pushing you like that in school? And remind me tomorrow I have to ask your teacher why they beat you. You said your teacher, be, who, we, we, what is the name of that teacher who beats you in school? Teacher Mansi. Teacher beats you with what? Aluna. Hey, where, we, uh, which part of your body did he be, she beat? Your hand? Where? Oh, hey. That is an abomination. Where? Here. Should I ask teacher Mansi? It's over here. Should I ask him? It is over here. Well, but... Mm, but then what did you do? What did you do to deserve being beaten in school? Zion made me to, to play with him. Then Zion made the jacket. Take more food. Then Zion made the jacket. I will call. I will call and ask them. Ask, ask them why they beat you. But if I find out that you're being naughty in school and fighting, you didn't go to, to school to fight, but you fight with Zion and Baraka. Is Baraka still in your class? Now stop, stop touching your, your nose while eating. Eat. Can you sco scoop some more food, please? Oh, oh, never. quickly then. Because this fish I can't measure. Ah, excuse. I can't measure. You can't measure how, and the fish is not meat. I know the meat is what you, do, you usually don't measure. You don't measure. You cannot swallow meat. 
But fish is very soft. How can you not swallow fish? Hmm? No, that's a fish head. Fish head, the children cannot eat. It has too many bones. You see how many bones I've taken out of my fish head? Too much. Um, but this kid, you have to keep uh, that fish can attack somebody attack somebody no, no it doesn't it can do what no it's not alive it's it's fee it's already cooked can you eat some more it's not very little fish you have to finish your food. Can you eat, please? Can you you see eat eat this much the how many one two three four four eat yes four spoons and then you this is turn right eat four spoons and then you let it cut that means he's, he's full so even now if we say Stop eating, go watch TV. Then you'll run to the TV very fast, right? Come back here. Come back here. Come back here. <laughs> Killian. You, you are very naughty, you know that? You know you are naughty. Why is that right? <laughs> it's all right. Killian, whenever, when, when, when to, today did you come knocking on my door? You know, knocking on my door is not allowed when, when I'm sleeping. Yeah. You know, it's not allowed. But that's the TV. But, uh, are you listening to me? Come, come and sit here. I want to tell you. There is no day and time you are ever supposed to come and knock on my door. Come here. Leave that alone. I want to speak to you. When me and uncle are in, in, my, in our room, no one is allowed. Why are you laughing? <laughs> What's funny? Listen. When me and uncle we are in our room. No one is supposed to. Listen to me, I'm very serious. I want you to tell me what is funny. Can you swallow the food? And then tell me what is funny. Hmm? When me and Uncle are in our room, stop, stop laughing. What? <laughs> Kilian, what's funny? Why are you laughing? Why is this funny? Because <laughs> well, that is funny, Lizzie. But I want to know why is it funny? Because it's funny, Lizzie. Funny, Lizzie. Can you first swallow food? And then you tell me why is it funny that me and Uncle is in my room? We are in our room. Hmm? Why is it funny? I'm not okay, then I want you to tell me why is it funny. Because that day also I saw you in the stairs. 
when I came outside, you started laughing. Something was funny. What was funny? <laughs> <laughs> Lillian, what is funny? You will be going with Auntie to church. You understand? I just want to go there. You don't? <laughs> so tell me what was funny then? The world of magic. The world of magic? Yes, on the TV. Oh, okay. But then, when I say... The world of magic, they make me funny. They make you funny. Yes. Okay, but now, whenever you are at home and auntie has gone to church, when me, me and uncle we are home, you don't come to home to my room to knock. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You know, I find that was very awkward that you're laughing. You don't knock when big people are in their home. It's not allowed to knock. Okay? You've heard what I said, right? <laughs> next time I you tell you that when mom is sleeping, she don't like noise. <laughs> I don't like I noise. Don't I don't like uh, anybody. <laughs> sana sana anybody coming to knock. Hmm? You are coming to knock at an unholy <laughs> time. Hmm? Not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> you heard that, right? Next yes. time if I come and see you knocking, come out and sleep, sleep us. I eat the last one then. Eat the last one and then now you go. Enough of your laughing at me. I don't know what you're laughing at. <laughs> what I'm saying. But why is it funny? I've asked you, but you're not replying. Why is it funny? Hmm? Because I saw it on the TV. You saw what on the TV? What TV? The world of party. <laughs> she is just beating. She is doing a, a girl like this. <laughs> oh, he was doing the car like this. Yeah. Up and down, up and down. Give me some more. Okay? If I do this one. <laughs> and why is that funny? Why is and it so funny though? A blue bus is called Tayo. Mm. Then the bus turns it belongs to her. Okay. Then they are flying. They are they are okay, eat the last one then. Now you go to go and sleep. You take some little water. Mm. This kid has eaten chapati in the evening, so I think that is what is making him feel like he's full. Amma, you still want more food? You're full? No, oh, I want mom to be serious so that you can eat. Mm -hmm. Kids usually eat when they are hungry. If you force them, it might even choke them. Leave him. Kama anasikia kuku, kama akonanja, ubaya ni kumpatia snacks. If you give them snacks before food, they will stop eating. Because I gave her snack in the evening. That was my mistake. Kaya, swallow your food. You go prepare for bed. It's 8 o'clock now. Go, 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 go. Go and prepare for bed. Go brush your teeth. Meza kabisa. Ka hapa kwanza umeze. Unajua wa uta meza. There is no throwing food. Even if it is a little bit. To stand up and let these people see how tall you become. Stand up. <laughs> Why do you keep laughing? Okay, then sit now. Don't fall. Sit. Ah, 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 my laptop. My laptop. My laptop. You <laughs> malimbaya. It will go to bad, bad pipe. If you keep laughing with food in your mouth, it's very bad. Auntie, you have tissue. Look at the way you're making my laptop now dirty. Say sorry. Sorry. Okay. 
now swallow that food. We don't want this kind of drama now. This kind of mess. Making a mess. It's fish. It's man, going on my MacBook. Man, something's a fish over here. Okay, but it's not supposed to go on my MacBook. And something is over here. Mm -hmm. No, my MacBook will smell like fish. Mom, yeah. Mm -hmm. The things that they look like this, they are good. Okay, swallow that food now. If you want us to be friends, you swallow that food. This is the end Samaki and this is the Oshwe. Mpatiye majikidoga kunywe, akremishe na wichakula. Na kuna kuanga na mabikombe za plastic za nini zile za disposable zina ziko hapo kwa kabati mali hapo nyuma mali unaweka blender hebu zilete tuweke kwa hii kabati ya ya dispenser mtoto awe anakunywa maji juice zingine anasumbuka kutafuta nini kama huko na yeye tutafuta chupa eh weka tu hizo eh weka tu hapo ndani atakuwa anachukua Oh. You need to drink water <coughs> or water. Oh, eh, okay. Mm -hmm. Now that you drink too much water, it's good. Water is good for your health. Okay. Now you swallow your food. You swallow your food and then you run to sleep. You dream nicely. You dream that we have our own car. Hmm? Like the other day when you were saying, why don't we have a car? Nothing will be like that. We, we pray we have a car as well, so that whenever we are going somewhere, we we we, we take our car, right? A new car like speed. Yes. Like Sonic car. Yes, you pray. I'm going to drive us to go somewhere. It's a blue one. Mm. Even me, I like my car. My car. Mm. A small car which is fast. Yeah, you pray we get our car. Then... Mm. Then... 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 Kirin, why did you open the bike, the, 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 the tires for your bike? And then, you kitu ya kufu, kufu, nika iko wapi? Why you do that? Why did you, why, why you always dismantle things? Now, why did you remove all the, all the, 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 why did you flatten the tire of your bike? All of them, two of them, front and behind. Did, did your mama, uh, did your dad buy that, that the, the, the bicycle for you to, to do these party games? You cried for a bicycle and now you are you are this, uh, spoiling it. Hmm? Now where will we take it for it to be in your jazz? Ushawa yona mali wana jaza pums vitu. Ushawa yona. Ingine inakuanga hapa hivi hapa mali magari zinasimamanga siji kama wanda kuanga bado Uliona siku moja itabidi ipelekwe yake na hiyo bike ikae ndani hiyo story ya kutoa bike uki, ukitoa pumps sitaki sawa shika maji sasa sitimi ni wewe si rafiki yangu unaharibu vitu Na nani Nani alikuwa anachota mchanga kwa kwa kwa, kwa shamba akirusha kwa kwa, kwa compound? Mbona yeah. unifanya hivyo? Yeah. 
Nyumba ya fish. Hiyo ni. Na Junior aende. Ule mama alisema. Ule mama alisema atachukua Junior. Si mama, huyo ni rafiki yangu. Si Junior ni Monaco ataenda. Akupatie fish alete hiyo tangi yote alafu achukue Monaco. Baba, hapo ni dakanya. Alisema atakujia atakujia Junior. Si Junior, Junior hizi enda mahali. Junior ni dog. Ni dogo yangu for life. Hmm? No, si. chakula basi. Mbona kondi aende na makirehere zake? Hmm? Na tawi. Tawi asiende, tawi aende. Tawi natafuta mtu wa kununua. Na hakuna watu wa kununua. Kiki na Junior wanabaki hapa. Kuna mali wanaenda. Mm? Na mimi napenda Kiki na Junior. Eh, hey. tao na tawi na Monaco. I'm looking for buyers for my two dogs. Na Kiki. Hmm? Na Kiki is my first <laughs> dog. Ebu amka ni kama aende alitemi hizi vitu hata meza. Aenda ndio tembe na uoshe mdomo uende ulale kwa dustbin see you guys kilian ah kilian doesn't like fish doesn't like i don't know mumama tena anamuita mumama you kilian Tutakutafutia tu fish. You want fish but uh, zitakufa. Hazitakufa. Sio sema huyo mama mwenye anasema au unataja hapo nikunukua hiyo box. Kununua au kwete maji na hizo oxygen na kuanga na mawe ndani. Box ya aquarium. Yeah. Lakini box ya aquarium has a lot of work because sometimes lazima ioshwe. Mtu awe kangi tu. Inaoshwangwa. Me I don't want fish pets. They will die and then I'll feel bad. Kila na anataka fish pets. Don't drink too much water you will you will pee in the bed. <laughs> Guys, I need oh, what time is it? Hmm? My my battery is running low. Today I have not seen my friend Bessie on my live. But it's okay she might watch this video later later on I'm waiting for a certain uh, a certain delivery from from US usually I buy somebody was asking me how do I ship things from US Well I ship them from Amazon there is a there is this uh, shipment company called Kentex and they are usually here in Kenya so basically you just get things uh, you get things from amazon and then you put the the address delivery address as their their warehouse they have a warehouse in dallas texas so you just put your name uh, your the, the, that uh, warehouse address and then your telephone number then from there uh, they they deliver whichever a seller delivers this uh, these products in the warehouse in the US in their address and then from the address they ship them here in Kenya so it doesn't matter what you need from the US macbook from amazon it doesn't matter what it is a macbook uh, from aliexpress whatever whatever you need they ship it here and usually it takes it takes up to there is a, there is a, there is a, there is a I'm expecting some gifts also from um, from a, from a, a from a, a viewer of mine a very nice nice supportive lady who usually watches so I am waiting for her delivery because also she sent some things in the warehouse and they were supposed to be delivered so I'm waiting for those things to be delivered they have not usually they say that they say that they are already here but I'm waiting for invoice because after they brought it they have to give you invoice so you pay them via their pay bill and pesa and then after you pay that is when now the products are being delivered to your doorstep 
so it's a very very nice even though delivery is usually like um like um like uh, less than let me see for every one kilogram it doesn't matter how many things you bought, bought but they they charge per k per kilogram so let's say for example per kilogram is like um roughly let me see per kilogram is like 16 16 us dollars that is like uh, 2500 per kilograms so if you have uh, like 20 kilograms or more it's definitely going to cost more so it just depends on how many kilograms of things you are shipping mm, it's it's pretty much the same when you when you come because usually we have shops that specifically sell us products we have like a shop that looks exactly like the us walgreens and it's uh, by the ilton arcade they sell all all the us products including um supplements including face products everything that i i saw in us walgreens they have it so usually they hike prices obviously because um they when you come to calculate you buying it via amazon and bringing it via kentex it's pretty much the same price because the shipment company charges you to deliver so they charge more Bye. good night yes. good night good night sleep well sour and you wake net vizuri because you mali gonna sleep ikai in a place is ikai is it funguke you net funguke vizuri mosquitoes are crazy here in our Nairobi but thank god that these mosquitoes they don't really cause malaria the mosquitoes in this area they don't cause malaria i was just like uh, seeing tiktok i was um, I, I saw a certain news article on tiktok and it was so incredible how so many things are happening right now in the world but when you open your eyes and you scrutinize everything in um, you know like with critical thinking you'd see that there is a force behind everything that is happening right now. There was a force behind COVID. It was just not a coincidence. Man-made disaster is happening all over the world right now. People have become very, very greedy. The fire that happened in Hawaii, Hawaii that was not coincidence. It was not critically you know, those people, the news, you know, the big tech and the big people, the people who are doing all these horrible things behind the world, behind everything that is happening right now in the world. Unfortunately, they have bought also media houses to brainwash people and to lie to people regarding everything because they know that there is power. You know, like, like it's just crazy when you come to think about it. It's crazy. Even the war between between Russia and and and, and 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 Palestine right now, there is a force behind it. It is not just a coincidence. It's it, it, there is just a force behind it. And I was just <clears throat> seeing this one particular article that there is this um, um, lab that has been discovered in a in a very remote remote area in California in the US. <clears throat> And majority of people that are, are working in this lab, I mean, this lab is, is, according to this news article, it was saying that it is owned by Chinese people. I, I highly doubt. I feel like they're just like branding it Chinese so that, you know, it it looks like Huan or, or COVID was manufactured and, and, and whatnot in China, the same thing that they, you know, just the same conspiration theories that these people usually bring. And they were saying that this lab, they found mouse 
they found a lot of mice. Some of them had died. And um, they found so many sicknesses that were being sort of antibodies were being tested on, on these mice. You know, sort of they were, they, they were, every sickness they had, they have their antibodies. Even, even cancer, even uh, um, um, HIV, hepatitis A, B, and C, uh, syphilis, gonorrhea, and all these deadly illnesses, including um, COVID and all this, it was being manufactured in this lab. If you go to TikTok, by the way, TikTok, this is the reason why these people are, are, are really fighting to bring out TikTok because TikTok is very independently, it is a very independent um, place where not many things are being censored. I mean, sometimes they censor some things, but usually people just randomly film things as they happen. So somebody, the people who raided this um, lab sort of were filming it live and they were just showing people all these mice and all these things and all these findings. And I was just thinking to myself, this world is very much rotten because for them to, for the pharmaceuticals to make all this medicine, because they know the cause of everything. Because how can you come up with a, with, a, with a cure for something that you have no idea about their origin? They create, the, the, then they come up with this medication that is getting into the market and they sell them at a very high price and, and whatnot. And right now, <clears throat> They've, they've they've immutated people's um, people's uh, gene by the kind of things that they put in 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 in, in the food and and in uh, like everything now is just I'm sorry I might be I might be talking too much but critically think about what is happening in the world right now it is crazy. They've modified so many things, if you come to think of it. Even the food we eat is not, is not really safe anymore. We live by the grace of God. And then they introduce these medications and these immunizations and the children, they have, they get, in, it's crazy. If you come to think about it, it's very crazy. Right now, whatever is happening in the world is absolutely crazy. They sort of, uh, their agenda, one day I just wish that it shall be in the open and it shall be known exactly what they are trying to accomplish. And these people shall be one day by the grace of God be held accountable for the crimes they, against humanity that they have committed. And I wish that these people can just be get beheaded in front of live, live television, just the same way they did to this Saddam Hussein guy. Is it Gaddafi or Saddam, somebody? Gaddafi, the same way they did to, to Gaddafi. I want these people, because these are the real, the real enemies of the people. These are the real enemies of the people. And I just wish that they catch them and 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 do the most horrible things to them just the same way they are right now doing to us and you know people 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 are very naive people might say this is just conspiration theories this is nothing is happening la 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 but when you open your eyes a lot of things are happening currently a lot of things are happening so i hope you guys are safe and your family is safe wherever you are because right now as they say that it's not uh, like you never know because of this, this, uh, this whatever is happening in Palestine and, and, and Israel, you never know, they might retaliate, you know? They might retaliate in any country, in anywhere in the world. They might try to retaliate because you just know, like these people, they created COVID, it didn't work. They created this, it didn't work. They created this, it doesn't work. They, they were thinking that mass, they are going to kill so many people, but didn't happen, we are still here. And uh, they brainwashed a lot of people to take the COVID jab, and, 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 but a lot of us are still here, they didn't take it. But so now they're again trying whatever, they're going to be successful. 
with even the war that they are creating and everything. I don't think it's just a coincidence that all this war and fires, especially the fire that happened in Hawaii, that was not coincidence. That was laser powered. I believe it with all of my heart because there is no way even a boat inside a water, you know, fire and water, they don't go hand in hand. But the boat, which was floating on top of water, was just surrounded by the fire. That fire was just engulfing the boat itself on top of the water. And then when you see the demographic, the fire was just surrounding. It just looked like it was very well mapped by laser. And it was not something, it was not, it was not a natural disaster at all. As people might think that maybe it was too hot or fire might have started in the forest because of the extreme hot weather or whatnot. No. These people, they are very smart sometimes, but sometimes people can tell. that exactly, You could ask yourself exactly why the fire was engulfing most properties, that yet the big, big people like Oprah Winfrey, their property were just intact, while the rest in their surrounding were just getting engulfed. Like, what was the, what, why, why, like, what is the coincidence that some people's property, the people, the big people in the, uh, doesn't make sense. So anyway, let me not talk too much, but I'm just think, critically thinking and, and trying to reason out. Right now, wherever you are with your family, just take good care of yourself. If possible, don't be roaming around the malls and crowded areas. Don't be going on mass parties because I, I've come to, to, I'm just thinking to myself that even the, I just feel like you cannot trust anybody. You cannot trust, because I don't understand how these Hamas people could have just as, ascended upon a country that is very heavily guarded like Israel. That country is heavily guarded. They have all these technologies to, to make sure that, you know, they are spying and just, what is the coincidence that these people can just, just ascend on them via parachutes and massacre so many people? I don't understand. It, it just doesn't happen. I mean, with a country that is, I mean, they have this, this, heavily powered missiles that they can use from far away to shoot down these parachutes. Um, these people are centered on them in this party where they were massacring people and beheading people. It was basically, they came in via a parachute. And to me, it just really doesn't make sense. It really doesn't make sense. It's, it, for me, I just feel like they just wanted to start everything and they deliberately did whatever they did and now they are blaming it on religion they are blaming it on this uh, uh these extremists and they are blaming it like it's crazy i don't want to to say this side is bad or this side is bad but i just believe that there is some there is some some agenda they are trying to hide it and the big people who are trying to create chaos in the world and the big people they 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 are trying because they know that this this world is so interconnected they know that this if this country gets in or if if russia gets in and ukraine gets in or palestine and and, and iran and and all this uh, I mean, it's gonna be bloody and crazy, and their agenda of reducing reducing population, the population control agenda, is going to be um, accomplished. Because I don't understand why children and, and 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 the young people, I don't get it. I just don't. I'm sorry. I am not naive enough to actually just think that these kind of things are just happening coincidentally. I don't believe it. I believe that there is a force behind everything that is happening in the world right now. And um, the fact that they also the newspaper, the, the, the news, news, news houses are, are, um, are, are sort of uh, one-sided. They are just like all one-sided. They are in support. They are very in support of one group while condemning the other group. While the other group is also suffering and 
and, and nobody is actually winning. I don't get it, man. I just don't. I don't. And plus, they use they use the Bible. They use this. I don't know. I, 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 so many people who have talked about this issue has have been cancelled. That is the reason why I don't want. It is a very sensitive issue, and I don't want to make you guys like feel salty. For me, I'm not. I'm not backing up anybody. I just feel like there is a force behind all of this chaos, and the force does not have their best interest at heart when it comes to dealing with human. They don't, they are not human. They want to make sure that they eradicate and they start war all over the world. It might be Israel and Palestine today, and you never know. Tomorrow it might be Nairobi, for example. The other day it might be where you never know what these people are planning. Because right now there is a lot of tension in the world and everybody just needs to be alert just be vigilant and just be careful out there. So thank you so much for watching. I'm going to sign off and I'll see you guys in my last rambling rant video next Sunday. Thank you so much. Have a lovely night. Goodbye.